Hey guys, um, so today I have my homecoming dance, um, so I'm going to be showing you my makeup look and I like, you know, I just wanted to film it. I've had my nails done, so there's my nails. I've also had my hair done, let me turn around. This is my hair, it's got like a little, like this. So yeah, I'm really happy with like my face look so far, but now we're going to go all out with the makeup. I have all my favourite products here that I'm using and then I'm using my mum's Naked Free palette because... My dress is pink, you'll see my dress in a bit by the end of the video and my dress is pink and all my eyeshadows are browns, purples or blues and I wanted a pink so I've gone for the Naked Free Pinky palette and somehow I'm going to use this colour which is this one here because it's so pretty and um, first off I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer I was going to use my Barry M primer but I just I want to go for the photo finish one because I don't want, you know, if we have flash photography. Um, which we probably will do because I'm sure me and my friend will take lots of pictures. So check my Twitter, Instagram and Facebook. Check that because there will be lots of pictures. Um, so if we're having pictures I don't want my face to be like, like white. So I'm going to go for this. If you couldn't tell I went out today to have my hair done. I haven't, I haven't suddenly come up with loads of great hair skills and done this myself. Because I can't do that. I'm going to be taking the Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer in 15 Fair. Yeah, quite a lot of this look is actually high end products. But just because a lot of my favourites are high end. Within my Barry M Primer, but I don't know whether that's. Free from flash photography, white, whatever it's called. Okay. If you like natural, this is not your look. It's a very going out prom look, but obviously you won't need a prom look by the time this goes up. I'm just doing it for memories. Or maybe if you have another dance coming up at some point or a wedding. I suppose you could wear this for a wedding because pink... Colours kind of go with anything really, don't they? Um, now I'm going to be taking my Naked Skin Weightless Com Complete Coverage Concealer. This is amazing, I just want to say. So we're on to Urban Decay product number one. I'm going to have a little count of how many Urban Decay products I use. Because seriously, there's a lot. Anything else you want to cover? Okay. Yeah, we want to be very covered. And I'm going for a quite minimal foundation, so you wanna just you wanna um, layer on the concealer. I love how I'm talking like I know what I'm doing because I ain't got a clue. Now I'm gonna be using Urban Decay product number two, um, the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done Hybrid Complexion Perfector Foundation thing. Okay, so I'm just gonna dot it on my face first to stop the foundation from running down my hand. Shows in my arm. My hair's kind of falling down because I had it done at lunchtime. So you know. It could be better, but what else? It's still okay. Yeah, this is my first American dance, so I'm kind of like excited for it. Because, you know. I think I'm excited but nervous at the same time. Okay, um I'm gonna use my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. By the way, this is my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. We should also have a countdown of how many Real Techniques products I use. Because <laughs> I'm just going to like blend it in. I should have probably done my makeup before I got my hair done, but I had my hair done so early that it wasn't really my hair. But I've gone for the whole day with my hair like this. Like we went to look at some houses earlier. <laughs> And I was just walking around like my hair like really fancy and done up. And I was like, hey. Okay, so now I'm going to be using my NARS All Day Luminous Powder Foundation in Mont Blanc. And I got a test. Okay, um, so I'm about to use Real Techniques brush number three. I'm using my Real Techniques Retractable Kabuki brush for this. I definitely need to buy another one of these powders. Like, look how big the hole is now. It's such a good powder. 
<laughs> Real Techniques brush number four. I'm using my... This is getting unreal how many Real Techniques brushes I use. I'm using the Real Techniques powder brush just to make sure this is all blended in. Because even though I want lots of makeup on, I don't want it to look like I'm wearing a lot of makeup. Now I'm going to use my first brush, which isn't Real Techniques. Um, my MAC 204 brush, and I'm just going to brush through my brows. I've ordered a lot of Benefit brow stuff, and I'm really excited for that to arrive. I'm getting it with my Birch box this month, so I'm excited. I'm going to be using the NYX Tame and Frame Tinted Brow Pomade. Um, with a Body Shop Slanted Brush. If I'd been using a brow powder, which I was going to do, I would have used my Real Techniques brow brush. <laughs> I knew who went for my Tanya Burr brows. Oh my god. This hair is tickling my face. If I'd been um, still in the UK for prom, I would have probably had my makeup done. But because it's homecoming and it's like... I kind of didn't find out that I was going to the last minute. That's why I'm doing my own makeup, but I didn't really know where to ask over here, whereas in the UK, I know quite a lot of places, like you can go to MAC, you can go, there was a woman who lived near me who did makeup, we could have gone there, there's a lot of places we could have gone in the UK, whereas I just don't know anywhere around here. I'm going to go back to the MAC brush, if I can find it, where, where did it go? There we go. And I'm going to brush out my brows. Because again, we're going for a lot of makeup look, but we want it to look natural at the same time. Basically, we don't want it to look cakey, is what I'm saying. Okay, so now I'm going to be using my Benefit Gimme Brow. Um, it, This is a tester, but I love it so much that I'm 100%. If it doesn't come in my... Benefit brow set that I got, I'm 100% going to repurchase it because it's amazing. Just like that Urban Decay concealer, it's a tester size and if I, like when I run out of it, I'm 100% getting another one. But the Gimme Brow though, if you like brown mascara, it would be quite a good um, bottom lash mascara because the brush is really small that it's just look really good. Urban Decay product number three. I'm using my Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Original. I did my Nana's makeup the other day and it made me realise how big my eyes are because hers are really small and I was like going over her eyes with my fingers putting colour in and it really didn't go very well. It was just really messy. Okay so I'm taking out of the Naked Free palette I'm taking the first colour Strange which is just this really pale colour just as a base colour. Like, this colour is going to just be completely covered up, but, you know, I just, I want to just put a colour down. Then I'm going to take Buzz, this here colour. Let me just go over it with my hand. This one. Again, my finger. I use my finger for a lot of colours. <laughs> you know, if I don't use my brush, I won't. So I'm basically just putting this all over the lid. I didn't realise but I picked up quite a pinky blush as well. <laughs> Real Techniques brush number 5 and this is the base shadow brush and I'm going to be taking Black Heart which is this gorgeous colour, like seriously, love this colour. <laughs> very dark but very pretty. <laughs> I'm going to put it in the crease. And it is the prettiest colour ever. Which doesn't look so good on the eyes, actually, I've got to be honest. It just looks like we just put black in the crease. Which kind of has ruined the whole look I was going for, but... You know... It has, like... When it's blended out, which I'm going to do in a sec... It kind of gives off a purpley look. Now I'm just taking a cheap brush. Just blend it a bit. Because you want to use a clean brush for blending. It just gives off a purpley colour. <sighs> I'm going to do all of this eye and then I'm going to skip past that eye. With my Zoeva 227 Soft Definer brush, 
I'm going to take Mugshot, this one. And just put it just under this colour. Just so that, you know. So that they blend together. Kind of like it's going to go over it, but under it, if that makes any sense. And then we're going to go back and with our finger and buzz. Put that one back. So this buzz is kind of going to look like an eyeliner colour, but also not. Um, I'm going to take the Real Techniques Accent Brush, Real Techniques Brush number 6, um, and put it under my eye. I'm going very out of my makeup today. Like, seriously, I normally only ever do two colours on the eye. Prom just makes me go, or just say homecoming, just makes me go all out. And then I'm going to take Dust. Right, I'm going to just pop it in the inner corner. Now I'm going to take the Kat Von D um, Tattoo Liner in Trooper. And this is waterproof, so that is good. Um, but I'm not very good with eyeliner. So I'm going to come up very close to the camera. And I'm going to zoom right in. There you go. But you see what I mean by I'm not very good? That's terrible. So I'm going to use my new favourite mascara, which is L'Oreal Voluminous Feline, which is in blackest black, and it's my new favourite mascara. It's amazing. Let's give this a go. And I'm really sorry, my card just said it was full, now this one just like keeps acting up. So if you miss anything, that's why. Because it's acting up the card. That's also why I keep looking at the... Um, if you find it, because I'm checking it hasn't stopped recording. Okay, because I'm going all out of um, makeup, I'm just using free mascaras because this one is not playing well today. So I'm now going to go for my Clinique High Impact Mascara, which I wasn't going to use, but it can save anything. Okay, there we go. That is that. And then finally, to make my lashes longer, I'm going to be using the Clinique Be Long Mascara. This is amazing, just so you know, it's expensive, but amazing. Oh my god, how pathetic does this wing look? There we go. I'm going to do my sexy finger trick thing. Wait, no. No, I'm not. I'm going to use this. Superdrug Brow and Lash Comb. Let's do this. Okay, there we go. Now, I didn't realise, but I picked up quite a pinky mascara. I'm using my NARS Orgasm Mascara, which is very pink. Very in tune with what I'm wearing. It's six o'clock. The dance starts in two hours. <laughs> I'm nearly done. I'm nearly ready. Okay, there we go. That's that. Um, I'm now taking my Topshop Contour Cream in Swerve with my Sephora Multitasker Contour. Oh, I should have used my Anastasia Contour Cream. That's much better. Not Contour Cream. Contour Colour. I have the contour colour in Ford and that's so much like easier to use in this one. I think it's really good. And it wasn't too expensive either because I just got a single and stuck it in my Z palette. Okay, that'll do. Um, then I'm going to be taking my e.l.f. Contouring Blush and Bronzing Powder. I'm going to be using the bronzer. 
And this is in Santa Lucia or Lucia or whatever you want to say it. Um, and I'm going to be using uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We all take these brush number seven, which is another expert first brush, but I've stuck a contour brush on this one. So I'm gonna just continue to bronze up my face. Oh, fuck. This one already had this brush already had a lot of bronzer on now it looks a bit stupid. <laughs> I'll find out in a circle. Okay, this used to be a favourite, but now I'm not so sure because it's making my face look so brown. Okay, now I'm gonna take my finger because I'm that cool. I'm going to go down my nose with this. Because my contour brushes are a bit big for going down my nose. Okay, so I'm going to take this and go around the rest of my face a little bit. My hair is looking a bit of a mess. Now I'm taking my collection speedy highlight, which is a godsend. It's seriously amazing. I'm actually going to continue using that blur. And I'm really going all out with the highlight because highlight is my life. I literally, I want you to be able to see me from Mars because. Perfectly. So I'm gonna set this. I'm gonna set this highlight with my fifth and final Urban Decay product. <laughs> um with my eighth and final Real Techniques brush. So I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Shimmering Powder for face and body in Aura. And I'm going to be using the Real Techniques Mini Face Mini Face brush. I'm sorry that my voice kind of broke there. Uh, so I'm going to just highlight a bit more with this. Uh, like I'm going to Go over where the cream was, but I'm gonna go up my eyeshadow a bit, or up my eyebrow. And then again, I'm gonna use my finger. Just go under the brow bone. Okay, and my final makeup product is the Kylie Cosmetics Posey Kit Lip Liner. Well, this isn't the final product, but you know, it's one of the final products. Okay, it seems to have got very dark all of a sudden. Okay, now we have the actual final product. Um, Kylie Cosmetics Matte Lip Liquid Lipstick in Posey Care. This is my actual final product. You know what I really don't like? The smell of this product. The smell of this makes me feel kind of sick. Okay, there we go. So this is my final look for homecoming. My hair. It's not actually my final look. My final look will be with a dress on, but it's my final makeup look. So, um, no it's not. I'm going to set the face with my sixth Urban Decay product. The Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I don't often use this. But... Tonight is a night we can. <laughs> and I don't like it, which is why I spread so much, because I'm not bothered about wasting it. And I'm just going to wait for it to dry. There we go. This is my look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in a minute with my dress.